Hi, it's Ian Schnur. Welcome back to my video series on the top 10 reasons your balance sheet doesn't balance. Hopefully by now, you've had a chance to watch the intro video where I showed you what not to do when your balance sheet doesn't balance. Be sure to follow me so that you don't miss any of the upcoming tips and let me know what you think in the comments below. Now in this video, let's get into the first of my 10 tips on what to look for when a balance sheet doesn't balance. You know, sometimes people will spend hours checking a model to find out why the balance sheet doesn't balance only to discover that the error was right under their nose. So the first tip that I wanna share with you is a simple one, but I have seen this hundreds of times. What is it? It's that the totals were not calculated properly in a couple different spots within the model. Let's go take a look at the model. I'm gonna share my screen here. And once again, you can see the balance sheet. This is the same balance sheet I showed in the last video for the Henderson Manufacturing Company. The balance sheet is here. You can see I've got the assets section. And as I roll down, I've got the liabilities and equity. And good news, the model is now in balance. The check line shows me zeros all the way across, which is great. And there's no plug, which means that it's working. My recommendation is that the very first thing you should always check when looking at a model, if it doesn't balance, is to check the totals because there might be a mistake there. For instance, when I look at my total current assets and I press F2, of course, F2 edits it, I can see that it's picking up all of the correct rows. That's perfect. But sometimes people will accidentally omit a row. So for instance, if my sum function ignored the first row, the cash row, and I pressed enter, I'm not including $1.4 million. And if I roll to the bottom, my balance sheet is off by $1.4 million here, that exact amount. Now you're thinking, is that actually possible? Do people do that? Absolutely, this happens all the time. Why? Usually this happens because someone built a balance sheet and then they added a new row later. So sometime down the road, they might have added a new row to their balance sheet and then forgotten to include it in the total. And in this instance, you can see I'm now off by that new row. In this case, it's cash. Let's go back and fix it. Another reason why this will happen is because someone might add a row at the bottom of a section. Let's imagine I had to add a row underneath the other line there was another line I needed to add to my balance sheet. So let me go ahead and add a row. I will do this using what is still the best way to insert a row in Excel, and that is Alt-I-R. Again, Alt-I-R, insert row, and it pops open a new row. Now, let's imagine we had a row called other receivable. I don't know why, but let's imagine there was another row here we had to add. If you start including and populating this new row, that's great, but you might not realize that your total is not working properly. And if you do not include this new row in your total, then the balance sheet will not be balanced. So let's delete this and continue on. My recommendation, by the way, is every time you check one of the totals like this one, check it, check all of the years, all the columns, and then mark it okay. Now I know that at least this row is perfect. The line items themselves might have some issues. That's fine, we'll check those in later videos. I don't yet know if these are working, but at least my total row is perfect. Same thing with my long-term assets, same thing with the total assets, they are fine. I can mark these ones okay as well, okay? And over here, okay. Now let's take a look at the liabilities. My current liabilities is fine and the long-term liabilities is fine, but let me tell you another area where I have seen big problems. In the total liabilities, the model builder might have built this and taken the total liabilities to calculate it and simply linked to the long-term. You see what I've got here? I have made my total liabilities equal to just the long-term. I forgot to include the current liabilities. And of course, no surprise, if you forget the current liabilities, once again, your balance sheet will be off. It will be out of balance. So very, very, very important to check each of the totals, make sure they're picking up all of the correct rows, mark each row okay once you know that it's working. I'll fix this one as we move on. I'm not quite done yet. And that's because, let me put the formula back in here. I'm not yet done that 
yet because there's one more area in the model we need to check for totals. Let me give you a hint. On my model, the very first row is cash. Every balance sheet has a row for cash. Often it's the first row, not always. And my cash on the balance sheet is coming from the bottom of the cash flow statement. It's linked to ending cash. That means every section of the cash flow statement must also be totaled correctly, or you will be out of balance. So let's take a look. Cash flow from operating activities. This is correct. It's adding up all of the appropriate lines and it's giving me the right answer. I can mark this row okay. Same thing with cash flow from investing and cash flow from financing. It's working. But what if this happened? What if someone did the cash flow from financing and accidentally started a row too late? So you see this? I'm missing the very first row, but it's a zero. I'm missing a zero. And if I was to copy this over with control R, I will copy my formula over and I'm always now missing this first row. This will be a little bit tricky because when I get to the bottom of my balance sheet, the balance sheet is actually balanced in the first year, even though I made a mistake. You can see I made a mistake, but I missed a zero. So it still looks balanced. You only start to see the error in the subsequent years. So again, double check, make sure all your totals are working. Let's fix this, copy this over. Let's fix this, make sure it's perfect. Last, it's so important to check the total on the change. The change in cash must always be, you can see here, cash flow from operating, CFO, cash flow from investing, CFI, and cash flow from financing, CFF. That's what it must be every time. Anything else will lead to an incorrect answer and the balance sheet will be out of balance. So let me stop the share now and wrap this up. So as I was saying, the first thing you should always do when you start checking a model, if the balance sheet doesn't balance, is check the totals. The error might be right underneath your nose. Check out the next video in the series so that you can see another common problem, and that is related to a major issue with linking. I'll see you then.